Okay, everybody, welcome to Pasini, and it's a Monday night, so I've got another video's openings. Now, our video's open up for tonight is Lose Larrikins, 1993 video's from Seven Sport. So, nice, any more time, here we go. I'm here to tell you about the fantastic Name the Game series in Australian football video. It has over 200 games available, including final series, state games, night premierships, and the best home and away matches of the 91 and 92 seasons. Not just the highlights, not just the last quarter, but a hundred minutes of top footy action. So pick up your free catalogue at any basher store. And remember, footy brings out the best in a person. Taping now? Right. He said, can you, oh. What, what am I doing wrong? Coach his name, or the players. He said, can you, oh. and thanks for joining me for what I'm sure is going to be an entertaining hour. Now, have you ever stopped to wonder what our game would be like without Larrikins? Fairly dull, I should imagine. So what we've put together for you is a look at just some of those Larrikins who have given us a laugh on those cold winter days in the outer and who have inspired us with their talent. So sit back and have a laugh on us, or should I say, at us. First up, one for Magpie fans. Collingwood's greatest ever captain. And by the way, that's uh, Tony Shaw next to me. Shaw can be a fiery fellow on the field, but his eyes are always fixed firmly on the ball. What a beautiful lead into this story. Tony, since you've been at Collingwood, you've met some great characters. Billy Pickett comes to mind. Probably the funniest thing when Billy was at Victoria Park one day, we were playing Geelong, and uh, I ran past Billy, and about three Geelong blokes had jumped on top of him, and they were really getting into him, punching into him, and... Uh, I ran a couple more yards and uh, I looked back and I saw the three blokes just jump off Billy's back and I thought, gee, that's an amazing show of strength. And uh, I went in the rooms after the game and I said, Billy, those blokes had you, you know, what, what was the reason? You know, they just jumped off your back. And he goes, well, I was there, you were right, they were punching into me. And um, right at the end, I just looked up from underneath the pack and I saw this part of an anatomy hanging out of these pants. And uh, he said, well, I bit them. And he goes, uh, he said, it's amazing how much strength you get when you bite your own balls. <laughs> Shaw has made many a friend in his long football career. It stands to reason that Footscray footy legend Dougie Hawkins, another knockabout bloke, is among them. In fact, you can bet on it. Oh, we've had, we've had a, our career started at the same time and uh, we've had some good times and normally we have a bet on the toss before each, each game and this game at the MCG, um, you know, one of the greatest... Uh, improvements in footy, I believe, with electronic scoreboards, because if you like having a bet like Doug and I do, uh, these days you get the, the name, the race name, the numbers, and you get the names of the horse and the dividends. But this day at the MCG, we just about to toss the coin, he goes, I've got a tip in race four. And uh, I said to Doug, I said, you've got to be kidding, this is in the middle of the MCG, what can I do about it? And he goes, keep your eye open for it. And if you're a punting man and a footballer, you know that race four starts about five minutes before quarter time, so I'll run around, I'm looking up for this, uh, this race, and... Uh, about five minutes before quarter time, I've got the second rover onto the ball, which you don't do very often because they might get a kick and you mightn't get back. So I got up there and it never ran a place. So I went to Dougie just at quarter time as we were going back to our position. I said, um, Dougie, that horse never ran a place. And he goes, yeah, but you haven't had a kick, you stupid bug. You've been watching the scoreboard that much. So he got me that in. I'm still after him, matter of fact. Now, before I worked at Channel 9, I had many happy years at Channel 7. We used to do a show called League Teams. There was Bob Davis, Jack Dye and myself. The show became an institution. We had the Melbourne University League Teams Association. Monash had one, and so did Latrobe. And these boys used to come and see our show sometimes. Well, after 10 years, incidentally, we spoke nothing about football on the show. We gave recipes, we cracked gags, you know, gags like, uh, 
uh, want to uh, Catholics have bigger balls than Protestants and uh, because they sell more tickets, all corny gags like that. Well, the show, as I said before, was a success. Casey decided, it was our general manager, decided we'd, uh, he'd give us a night at the Southern Cross. We go to the Southern Cross, had about eight or ten bottles of claret and numerous beers, and after the, we'd had that, we decided to go home. It was about half past one. We came out to the front of the Southern Cross, we were staggering a bit, and a copper came up. And he said, oh, you boys have been drinking, you're pretty booze. And I said, no, we're not. He said, what's your name? And I wasn't going to give him a right name because I knew if I gave him a right name and were booked, I'd finish up on the front page of the truth. So I looked across the, the road and I saw a shop front. And he said, what's your name? And I said, Gulls. He said, what's your initial? I said, GJ. He wrote that down. He was an Irishman, you see. Bob Davis now twigged very quickly because he was a used car salesman. Very shifty, Bob. He was that crooked he could go to sleep in a trumpet. As a matter of fact, when he dies, he's going to screw him into the ground. And he said to Bob, he said, what's your name? And Bob said, uh, looked across the road, and he said, David. He said, no, what's your surname? He said, that is my surname. He said, what's your Christian name? And Bob said, uh, Roger. And he wrote that down. Now, Jack could hardly stand up and lean against the window, staggering all over the place. And the copper said to him, Don't worry about this additional videos, I mean. Thank you, Archie. If anyone has any questions for any videos, views, videos, I mean, videos, comments, and also from the vault, put them in the comments system below. Don't forget for those five thumbs subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed the video, my side. Now, next Monday, it will be the one year anniversary of Patterson AFL, and we'll celebrate that with our videos, I mean. And I can tell you that it will be an all time classic, one of the greatest videos in AFL history. Anyway, well, for now, thank you for watching. This has been AFL on 7. Good night, everyone.